Hello crafty friends. I often get comments and requests to show how I do my bunching thread when I sew around my art pieces. I tend to use this a lot on my altered playing cards, tags and my index cards. In this video I'm going to show you how I do it. I'm going to work on an altered playing card that I've already prepared. If you'd like to see how I prepared the surface for this card I will link a video below to show you the process. I'm going to use black thread and I'm going to do a combination of zigzag and running stitch. I'm going to start with a little bit of zigzag and then remember when you're changing the stitch style that your needle must be all the way up on your sewing machine. And now the way I do the bunching is I lift my needle all the way up, I lift the foot and then I pull my item away from the sewing machine allowing the thread to pull. This is the thread I'm going to use for the bunching. I don't cut anything, I just scrunch it up, place it onto my art piece roughly where the stitching is going to go. I put everything under the foot. I try to align the needle back to where my stitching ended, place the foot back down and then carry on stitching either in running stitch or zigzag and then this will create the little bunched art um, pieces. You could also do the bunching using separate thread that you've just got loose that you can bunch underneath the foot as it's sewing. I've done that before and that's how I started when I was doing this technique but I found this much easier. You don't have spare threads just lying around and trying to bunch. It's just part or one piece and you just keep going around until you're happy with the look of the stitching. I would love if you subscribed to my channel. I have lots of tips, tricks, tutorials and process videos for you that are coming up. Also don't forget to hit the little bell so that you're notified every time I upload new content. Also wanted to tell you about my full deck challenge where I'm challenging myself and you if you'd like to join in to alter a full deck of playing cards. I use different techniques and methods trying to experiment with new styles which you can follow along with or you can just be inspired and create your own. I do have a Facebook group for this challenge if you'd like to join just search full deck challenge group. I will link below in the description to my playlist for the cards that have been done so far. I'm now going a second time around the card just with running stitch. I tend to like to go twice around. I just like the look that it gives. In this corner I've gone a little bit too far off the edge. That's okay, just pop it back underneath the sewing machine. I don't really like everything neat and tidy. I do like that raw look. So I don't mind if stitching is obviously not straight and overlapping. I actually try to make it skew and um, a little bit here and there on purpose. That's the card with the edging and some scrunched up thread. I'm now going to show you how I also do the middle embellishment stack that I do with the stitching. For that I'm going to use a piece of white fabric, a piece of just um, text from an old encyclopedia and then a piece of cheesecloth. You can use any kind of fabric or papers or anything that you like that suits your project and this is actually pretty quick and easy and I love doing these and I actually make batches of them and then they're ready to use for my projects. So just a quick running stitch down the one way to join all the layers and then the same method where we pull it when we've lifted the foot and then just scrunch it up and sew back down this time with a zigzag. I'm going to do this three times once with a zigzag and twice with running stitch and on each end I'm going to do the lifting of the foot, pulling of the thread and scrunching back underneath the foot. I also often get asked what type of sewing machine I've used and if it's going to wreck the sewing machine if we sew paper. I don't use my sewing machine for anything but paper sewing and I specifically bought it for my crafts. I bought the bottom of the range, it's called a Singer Start. It's a really basic machine that was actually on sale at Spotlight here in Australia. I don't think I paid more than $150 for it. It was a very good investment and I've used it so much. The only thing that I find is that the needle might be getting blunt which we can just change over time but it definitely doesn't wreck the sewing machine. And I'd like to finish this card off to show you a finished product. So I'm going to attach my little embellishment stack and then I'm going to put a focal point on the top 
with a little sentiment. I'm going to stick this down with hot glue. I use my hot glue gun a lot. I like that it's an instant adhesive. It dries really quickly and it holds bulky items. So I'm just going to place my embellishment stack in the middle and then I have this beautiful monarch butterfly that is from Digital Collage Club uh, that I'm going to stick down. I just fussy cut that out. I'll put a link to the Digital Collage Club below. There is a discount that you can get if you use my link to purchase and then the sentiment inspire because I really hope that this video inspired you. I'd like to thank you so much for watching. I really hope this video answered some of your questions or all of your questions about how I do my stitching and my bunching of my thread on my items. I will see you again soon. Bye.